Hi, I'm Sarah. Growing up in Queens, I was the girl people saw as the brooding bookworm. As much as I loved it, I desperately wanted to be seen as someone else. Someone more powerful, more sophisticated, more seductive. Like a character in an Anne Rice novel. Then, when I was 15, I finally started dating. The experience awakened a new side of myself that I could not contain. I was a woman reborn, a fierce sexual creature with an insatiable appetite. I needed more than mere puppy love. I needed action. Ripped from the pages of real life. Mortified's a comic excavation of the strange and extraordinary things we created as kids. Letters, lyrics, journals, home movies, and more. March 25th. This day, June 28th. The day I realized something horrible. 1-18-96. I've been thinking about Anthony and I. Whether I like it or not, he is my soulmate. He is mine, I am his, and the extreme desire I have for him is above and beyond teenage hormones. I think of the way his neck curves, the way his breath feels, what he looks like with his eyes closed, how his long, soft, magic fingers slide into me and drive me to the brink of insanity. To the point where I would do anything, anything he asked. But he doesn't take advantage. He doesn't want to have sex. There are no selfish thoughts in his brain. Even the things he does that bring pain, he knows I like it. I like the way he hurts me. He knows exactly what I want him to do without me saying so, and he does it, keeping me in a constant state of ecstasy. Of course, I've only had a chance to meet him three times. <laughs> Two, eight, nine, I'm sitting here, it's 12.07 and I'm in tears. I just hung up with Anthony. He didn't say I love you tonight. I was thinking, who am I to tell how heartbroken I am? Do I call Pilar? She held me that night I was crying, even though she made it clear she would much rather spend the night sucking out Nikki's vaginal juices. <laughs> I want to hurt. I want to have dark circles under my eyes that say, look world, look what you've done. I'm near going crazy. I can feel it. When will it happen? I can see myself stabbing Megan, ripping Joe Axler's dick off and permanently embedding it in John's mouth, tying Rita's head to Megan's ass because that's where it always is anyway. I am alone, like always. No one sees, no one cares. They do their best to make what is already horrible intolerable. Well, I guess that's it. It's over with Anthony. My heart isn't broken for some reason. I think this must be because I'm in denial. I just finished the autobiography of Boy George. The last line really made me think. Love holds a mirror to us all. I guess it's true. When you love someone, you find out what you really like. I saw that I am horrible, fucked up, jealous, dependent, and weak.